Welcome to WP Forms, the best WordPress contact form plugin on the market. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the total field in WP Forms. Adding a total field does more than just show customers how much they're going to pay. You can use the total field to prevent unintentional transactions and create an order summary at the end of the form to provide an even better customer experience. With that said, let's jump right in. Starting in the form builder, either create a new form or load up an existing one. You'll then need to make sure you've set up one of our payment add-ons, which you can find under the Payments tab on the left side menu. If you need help getting started on setting them up, we have step-by-step -step tutorials for these add-ons, which you can find links to in the video description below. My form also has the following choices that users can select from. The next step is to add a total field to my form so users can know how much they'll be charged when they check out. From the left side menu, scroll down to the Payment Fields section and find the total field, then click and drag it anywhere onto your form. If you click on it, you'll be able to edit the label and add a description, but you'll also find two settings, Enable Summary and Required. In almost every case, you'll want to make sure that you make the total field required as this will prevent users from submitting the form with a total value of zero, which can cause some confusion on the administrator end. This is also to ensure that each transaction is intentional and wasn't submitted by mistake. If the total field is zero when a user tries to submit the form, they'll see a validation message letting them know that the payment is required before they can continue. The second setting, called Enable Summary, will display an itemized summary of the choices a user selected on your form, along with their quantity value and total cost per item. This will also include a subtotal, and finally, the grand total at the bottom. The summary functions as a receipt of sorts to give users a second chance to look through their selections before submitting the form to avoid making any mistakes. You can also choose to display the same summary on your form's confirmation page. To do that, click on the Settings tab on the left, click on the Confirmations tab, and click on the toggle called Show Order Summary After Confirmation Message. The order summary will then be displayed below the confirmation message after the form has been submitted. And that's all there is to it! You now know how to use the total field to require payments and display order summaries. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, where you can find step-by-step -step written guides for all of our features, add-ons, and more. You can also join our WP Forms VIP Circle group on Facebook to learn even more tips and tricks, as well as be part of the growing WP Forms community. And if you need any extra help, please visit our contact page and reach out to one of our trusted advisors.